before I leave, when I'm all, I don't know if that's important. Probably not. But, I'm sorry. But, before I forget, it doesn't matter if you're walking. I doesn't matter if you're driving a, a, a polo. See, that's amazing. Right. Doesn't matter if you're driving a polo. It doesn't matter if you're driving a, 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 a Merc. A, 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 I think it's a Navarra that I'm seeing. Whatever. Doesn't matter what you're driving. Okay. Or a bike. Bicycle. Doesn't matter. If you start investing, you're instantly to be safe. Let's say in the top 25% of South Africans. Just to be safe. Remember, there's like a, like a 60, 70% unemployment to all that stuff. 25%. Remember, you've got a bunch of people that are, not, that are not working. Then you've got a bunch of people who are living hand to mouth. Then you've got a bunch of people who are in debt. Very few people actually invest. That's what I'm saying. The money you start investing, you're instantly in the top 25%. I don't care if you're investing 10 rands, 20 rands. It doesn't matter, right? We are not in we are not in an investment competition. You're investing for yourself. You invest what you can afford. This isn't about um, can I beat this person? You don't win anything by beating. It's a collaboration. You're investing. You you get to buy shares in in various companies. You get to buy shares in ShopRite and Clicks and not Joyland, not Joyland. Um, Ackermans and Woolworths and Trueworths and Old Mutual. You get to buy. I'm literally just get those companies. They are public. You get to be buy. You get to buy shares in those companies, and you get to be part owner of the company, and and you get to start looking and and listening and speaking about different conversations instead of watching TikTok videos on people dancing. This crap. Right. No offense to those. Just it is crap. Instead of dancing to that and um, watching funny videos and things that literally have no purpose in your life outside of wasting your real time, you start to get into conversations like what decision needs to be made? Should I be buying this company or not? How is this decision going to better me in the future? You start to Financial literacy, you do study it in school. It's just people don't pay attention to it. Now you start to pay attention to it. And you start to do things. And you start to teach kids. Easy equities, I think you can now add your, your kid's account. You start adding an account for your kid. And you start teaching your child about investments. Don't blame, don't don't look into government. If you think government's going to, you're wasting your time. Don't depend on government. Depend on you. So, my point is this. Focus on you. Sit down. Um, instead of watching a TikTok video, watch a TikTok video on someone who's actually discussing the markets and who's discussing companies. Instead of watching crummy YouTube videos that are that have no purpose, outside of to entertain you and dampen you, make you less intelligent, focus on other things. Focus on watching videos with people like Meet Kevin and Graham Stephan and... Um, a bunch of other people, Warren Buffett, and, and there's a bunch of these people. Have those videos up. And people that are teaching, you know, accounting. If you don't know how to do accounting, you don't know how to read a bank statement, you don't know how to read the financial statements, go onto YouTube and watch videos of people who are literally teaching you how to read financial statements and explain what a, a, what a um, balance sheet is. And what an income statement is, and what a, a a cash flow statement is, and what the different aspects of those financial statements are, right? And what it does is it gets you to a point where first you start to understand the companies that you're investing in, and you start to see certain red red flags, and you start to go, I should probably be getting up because one, two, and three is happening, or I should be getting in because for whatever reason this is what I'm seeing, and people don't seem to be seeing it. That's why you're building your wealth. But on top of that, you start to then have these conversations and you start to build a network around that. And now you find yourself helping people who have businesses and you start to go, this is what you could. And now all of a sudden you start to become this genius, right? Literally, you start to become this genius because a lot of these people are wasting a lot of time watching entertainment things when you don't. So when someone goes, I don't know how to market my business, you've been watching videos and things like that. 
I don't know how to be. I don't know how to brand. You've been watching videos on that. My company is currently making a loss. Let me take a look at it. So, again, it's all going to start with you literally going and saying, "I'm going to start buying shares." Start doing seminars. I I was I was thinking of of doing an online seminar, um, on 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 online, if people are interested. I was literally thinking of we should do an online seminar, and and that's something that could help a, a bunch of people. So you could do the same. You have no idea. For those of, of you who are thinking ah, there's no jobs, you have no idea how many people have no idea what investing is, how to invest what public companies are, and so on. That's why in KZN, people said weird things like, we're burning down ShopRite because it belongs to white people. I own ShopRite at the time. Again, a lot of people don't understand it. They think it's expensive. So you could hold seminars on that, teaching people how to invest, having these basic courses, and so on. There's a money-making scheme right there. You take that money, you put it into shares, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Instead of giant buying into these pyramid schemes and these um, bad um, MLMs, etc., etc. Again, I'm not dissing MLMs. I'm just saying there are some bad ones out there. Think. Think. Before I leave, my goal. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Maybe I'll say it at least once a year. My goal is to have not a 100,000 subscribers and a million subscribers. I don't need that. I'm okay having a thousand subscribers, maybe even two thousand. It's okay. I'd like to have a thousand or two thousand subscribers who are smart, who are going to have an intelligent conversation in the comments, who are going to say intelligent things, who are going to say things like, "Yo, this video's changed my life." Yo, I bought one, two, and three. Yo, I did this. Yo, take a look at this. Hey, take a look at this particular company. I saw one, two, and three. What do you think? Um, and if we could have that, maybe we could get to a point where you open up a Discord and we end up having a community of people who are looking at different sectors, different companies, and we all make money. That's the ultimate goal, to eventually have a network of like a 1,000 or 2,000 people who can sit down and go, yo, we're making money. We're collaborating. We're making money. Why would I want this? To me, it would also seem really, really cool. I live in Durban. It would really seem cool for me to walk around in Durban and someone goes, Hey, yo! Yo! Again, not to be a celebrity, but hey, yo, you're part of the community. Yeah, hey, you good. Cool, right? You go to Maritzburg. Hey, yo! Right, you got me into investing. Thanks. Cool. You go to Joburg one day. Hey, yo! Yo, yo, I bought this particular stock. Did you get it? I'm like, ah, oh, snap, I didn't. It's like, yo, you missed out. Cool. I'm happy the guy's making money. That's the goal. That should be the goal. So, yeah. Anyway, if you if you if you're into that, please do like the video. And if you think it's a cool idea to to open up a Discord, it would literally be free, guys. It would be a free Discord, and it would be open. No scams, no spams, no MLMs would purely be based on on public companies and shares, etc. If you like that idea, again, we could do that. We could open up the Discord. Um, and we could just make it free, freely open. We're not going to have limits and rules, and it's just, guys, simple. We speak about investing. That's it. Done. If you think that's a cool idea, also comment below. Open up the Discord, and I'll be happy to do it. Anyway, see you later. Cheers.